so what else should we know about Halloween? Um, well, we have to remember it was uh, started uh, for religious reasons, in this case, paying respect uh, to all the saints uh, on a specific day. Um, well, unfortunately, another thing I have to bring up is that um, there are some real-life Halloween horrors. Now, uh, every year we have the annual onslaught of witches, ghosts, sorcerers, monsters, demons, and so forth. Um, many people grumble that uh, commercial costumes, shows, parades, toys, decorations uh, shouldn't imitate or impersonate those uh, imaginary myths or fantasies. But now, now witches, ghosts, sorcerers, etc. do exist, and not just at Halloween, but all year round. However, in real life, they do not look, dress, or go about their lives the way tradition says. The real-life Halloween horrors, or rather perennial horrors, are, are strippers, go-go dancers, nude models, pornographers, seducers, gangsters, rapists, killers, and terrorists. Okay, and you put them all together in one group. Um, well, because, um, well, because they do not... Well, some of them stick to their private headquarters, but others go out at large. But the important thing is, um, uh, real-life horrors like uh, gangsters, rapists, killers, and terrorists um, don't wear costumes. They're dressed normally, and, and they take unexpected people, unexpe unsuspecting people, uh, by force. Well, they do kind of wear costumes. Um, I would not call um, a mask with um, with a with an opening for the eyes and dark shirts and pants a costume. That still looks pretty civilian. But you mentioned go-go dancers. Uh, yeah, I was coming to that. Um, uh, lewd dressers and entertainers, um, um, immodestly dressed. Um, confine themselves to their own quarters. There are no captive audiences. Customers come and go freely. Willful customers put themselves under these immodestly dressed entertainers' spells. That's where you have your real life black magic, witchcraft, and occultics. So is that how ISIS works as well? ISIS? Well, you mentioned terrorists. You put terrorists and strippers together. Um, no, terrorists do not wear costumes. Well, and, some uh, and, of them do. Well, but, but the big difference between them and strippers is uh, strippers are immodestly dressed and they confine themselves to quarters. Terrorists don't do that. Well, what if they, uh, what if they wear a suicide vest? What's a suicide mask? No, vest. That's part of the costume. Um, I mean, it's not as attractive as a bikini, but yeah, it's, it's still terrifying. Oh boy. Um, they, they go out to menace the public, innocent people. Uh, they do not stick to themselves. Okay, so if I understand you, the strippers... Uh, put the spell on people, but they bring them in, and terrorists actually go out to public. Like public um, comes to strippers, but terrorists go out to public. That's right. So that's is right. that the main difference between the two? Yes. I see. So you learn something every day. What? So you learn something every day. I didn't know that. 